Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to Arena Crystal Opening Thursday. Why? Since, of course, this is not an Arena Crystal Opening, it's because this is why I grind the Arena every day. It's so that I can open featured Cavalier Crystals twice a month, $100 each, and not only hopefully save some cash, but also just be able to start off my Thursday, which it's almost Friday, right? It's so close, with uh, a good time. And we know that uh, Jubilee is in the arenas and in the crystals. And keep in mind that Spider-Ham is the sub-feature champion of this crystal. I didn't even see a Spider-Ham when I opened my early access bundles a week ago, last Thursday. First time we have seen a Thursday uh, early access bundle day. I wonder if that's going to become the norm or if it will return to Tuesdays. Stay tuned in, I guess, a couple weeks or maybe just next week. Stay tuned for next week. Um, okay, so let's uh, start off by purchasing this. We are going to open five of these. And keep in mind that the way we do this on this channel is we open them individually. And we are doing what uh, Prof Box and I have referred to as sort of like the Prof Box method, which is that we start off with team spin. And if we get a four star, five star, six star, we keep going with team spin. But at least half the time we open these, you're going to get a three star. If we're going to get a three star, you got to go to team pop. And so you just go back and forth until you are uh, done opening five. Now keep in mind our goal is to never have to get to team pop. Our goal is to spin five straight crystals that are at least four star champions. But uh, realistically speaking, you're probably going to start out with three star. What's up, six star mole man? And what do you know? It's like I'm Prostodamus. Starting out with a three star. Womp womp. Now, personally, if I had my way, given that there's still the stupid four star restrictions and gate restrictions, specifically in Act 6, I would not start off this crystal with anything that's worse than a four star. Because you can't even bring them in to the content that gets you to become Cavalier in the first place. It makes zero sense. And so even if it was a little bit more expensive, like 400 units, I'd rather pay 400 units for a crystal with no three stars than 300 units for crystals that half the time are three stars. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you like this where it's at. But personally, that's what I would like to see. Or at least Kabam take away the four star Act 6 restrictions because they're going to make more money anyway if they have people bring in their four stars because they're Health and attack is so small compared to the defenders they're going to be going against. All right, Team Pop for the win. Let's break this three-star curse. One, two, three. Team Pop for the win. Come on. How about Team Pop? Shout out to Prof Box, Prof Tot, Baby Ellis, Baby Ellie. That is a Max Sig Crystal, and I haven't opened too many five-star blades in my life. He was the first champion besides uh, Stark Spidey that I really hunted for on my YouTube channel. And he still is an MVP for me in some content, particularly the monthly Cavalier event quest where it gives you all those fun bonuses if you use skilled champions. Also, Blade is one of the rare champions that has a pro player bug this month. But I haven't done a video on it because uh, Kabam likes to shut those down. But just just know, it's, it's a thing. All right. Three star and then a five star. Well, that's my minimum goal to get a five star out of a batch of five. So happy to say through two crystals we've achieved that. Can we keep it up? One, two, three, four. Show us back to back five stars. Well, it's a four star Spider Ham. Four star sub featured Team Pop comes through. Can't wait to awaken that guy and uh, throw some SIGs into him. Also, Great champion for the level up event. Okay, so if you are following at home, we've opened a three, a four, and a five. Does that mean just logically this is going to be a six star? I mean, I would like to think so. It's just math. All right, well, team pop for the win. One, two, three. Show us that six star. And it's back to a three star, but it is spider ham. Back to back spider hams. I do have the five star. Would love to add 20 more six to him, or of course get the six star, though that is highly unlikely. Okay, so because that is a three star, we are going to indeed have the last crystal of the front half. The back half will be opened on live stream tonight. Stay tuned. 
We are going to open this and spin it out last. Come on, Jubilee. So you're saying there's a chance. Let's see if we can even see her in the reel. She's going by now. Got that 1980s looking yellow jacket. Can't beat that thing. All right. Come on, Team Spin. You owe us. Team Pop saved us in this opening so far. Four-star sub-featured. Five-star blade. We'll open that Max Sig Crystal after this to end it. It'll probably just be six-star shards, but that's okay. Double six-star shards is always appreciated. All right. Come on, Crystal. Let's tap the screen and have you show us. There's six-star Jubilee. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and... Two crystals, two three-stars for Team Spin. Team Spin, you're letting me down today. You better come back in the back half. We're starting with Team Pop in the back half tonight. Rules are rules. Well, let's see if we can somehow end this with a five-star Awakening Gem or a uh, six-star Immortal Iron Fist. <laughs> I know the odds of that are almost impossible, but it, I've seen it before. We've commentated that opening on my channel. All right, there it is. These Max Sig crystals always seem to go out of order. We're going to pop it. And we're going to get more six-star shards. Well, hey, we are over uh, 4,000, almost 5,000 six-star shards. Maybe we'll get there tonight when we open the second $50 of units for Jubilee or another Spider-Ham. Either way, Team Pop for the win. Shout out Prof Box and Prof Tot. And thank you to everybody who clicked on this video. I would rate this opening at a C-. It's, it's a little bit below average of what I hope to get. Um, I, I keep having to remind myself that there are also Nexus crystals in these because I don't see them when I land on mine, but some of you will. If you uh, send me along your best pulls, we'll make a community opening compilation probably on Sunday, maybe Monday. But either way, have a good weekend, YouTube. Happy Thursday. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.